Melbourne Victory went up to HBF Park to take on the Perth Glory. And it was a decent game of football, considering Victory were without Bruno Fornaroli and also Jack Brimmer. There were many questions on social media where Jake Brimmer was, why he wasn't playing. Now, there hasn't been a report by Melbourne Victory on Jake Brimmer, especially going into that game. But my assumption is that he was rested and uh, probably due to soreness or due to an, a small injury. Now, um, hopefully it is a small injury because in the original rivalry late in that game, he took a shot and he did pull up quite sore. He was clinching at his right ankle and heel area. So hopefully nothing too serious and wishing Jake Brimmer a speed to recovery if that is the case hope to see him back out there as soon as possible Chris Economini's got the start Ben Falami started this game on the bench in that first half uh, some great chances by both sides uh, in the 20th minute mistake by Melbourne victory Fabian Monge too strong on the pass Arzani tried to control it but he tried to then pass it back to Victory's defence. It was just a, a clumsy mistake by Victory. Adam Taggart's there, just ready to pounce like a lion in a jungle. And that's exactly what he did. An absolute bullet by Adam Taggart. He's such a, a threat on the attacking end for Perth Glory. And it was 1-0. Despite that start, Victory's response was great. They kept pushing forward. And in the 42nd minute, Daniel Arzani um, took the game on straight through the middle of the pitch. And... Um, Gave it off to Zinedine Mashash, who got past a Perth Glory defender, outmuscled him, and Zinedine Mashash just absolutely nailed it. 1 1 Melbourne victory. That play between Daniel Arzani and Zinedine Mashash was absolutely brilliant. They have been on the same page throughout this season, and to see these two boys in their first season with Melbourne Victory play so well together, it's something special, that's for sure. They are a great attacking duo, and I absolutely love it. Great work by those two. Halftime 1-1. One, one. Second half came along. Early in that second half, Bruce Kamau gets a second yellow card uh, due to diving. Correct call by the official. It was completely unnecessary by Bruce Kamau. And he was sent off. So Perth Glory down to 10 men for most of that second half. Huge credit to them for keeping it close on the scoreboard and making it an entertaining game. A close contest at HBS Park. Then we started to see some subs by Tony Popovich. Economides and Monge came off, and then they were replaced by Ben Falami and Eli Adams. Eli Adams, take a bow. What a great moment for the youngster. 82nd minute, he's got the ball, right-hand side of the pitch, few step-overs, gets to his left boot, takes the game on, gets closer, outside of the box, a one-hit wonder, a worldie in the top left corner by Eli Adams to give victory the lead. What a goal, uh, what a superstar to get his first career goal like that. That was absolutely brilliant, and hopefully he keeps it up throughout the rest of his career. And fingers crossed that he gets uh, a bit more game time. Because not only when he scored was he good, but he had a few great moments creating stuff for victory late in this game. Another youngster who was on the pitch was 19-year-old Kalen Majekadunmi, who scored his first goal on his debut. What a debut. You couldn't ask for a better one. I know in the end, uh, Perth Glory did lose, but look, um, Majekadunmi, you've got to be happy with that, a goal on debut. And uh, he also had some nice moments as well. Mustafa Armini with the corner, uh, Majekadunmi. Calm, composed, and saw the gap between victory's defence between De Silva and Miranda, and Majeka Dunmi absolutely nailed that one. 2-2. Two -two. The points could have been shared, but there was still time for something to happen. And something did happen. Jordi Valadon got it off to Ben Falami, was going to be intercepted by Connor Chapman. Luckily it didn't, because in this unfolded, Falami... Cool as a cucumber, on the left boot, caressed it into the bottom left corner, and it's 3-2. Victory get the three points on the road. What a game. What a close contest. And just to see Melbourne Victory score and still have chances, with the absence of Bruno Fornaroli, with the absence of Jake Brimmer, I thought we'd um, put up a good effort. Yeah, it was a bit nervous, nerve-wracking at times, that's for sure, especially after Taggart hit that bullet early on in the game. But we got the job done in the end, and that's what's most important. We're top of the league, we're still undefeated, and I'm so proud of this team. Tony Popovich, what did we take out of this game? Well, what I took out of this game, Victory fans, our youth. It's there to be utilised. Let's give them more game time, especially in the absence of our usual suspects, uh, you know, in attack like uh, Brimmer and Fornaroli. We've still got Mashash and Arzani, etc. 
And another thing I wanted to point out, Ben Falami, maybe he should have got the start, especially as a striker. Because we've seen in the past, he has actually played that position in the absence of a few players in the past seasons. And it's worked at times. So I would have liked to see him get the start. Melbourne victory, good to get the win, especially on the road, especially uh, missing a few of our boys in the blue. Now let's hope we can get another win against the Central Coast Mariners on Saturday night. It's going to be a massive challenge. Central Coast have picked up some fantastic form recently. They're the defending champs and um, they always put up a great fight. So let's be ready for it. We're top of the league and hopefully we can stay there. Go victory. Did you like that recap? Well, if you want to see more of them, please like, comment, share this video out to your friends and family. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's all for free and it's much appreciated. For more content, make sure to check out my social media pages, including Facebook and Instagram. Give them a follow, plenty more sports updates and recaps on there.